What's going on, family? Double Otisun here, and welcome back to Star Citizen. I really want to get in my shield, brother Root. Root, you want to say hi to the people? Hey, everyone. All right, fam. IAE, we are on our side day, and uh, we got some things to go over. Root's got some money saving tips, and uh, let's get into this, man. Oh, yeah. This is, this is going to be a good one, folks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, right off the bat, look at the size of that girl right there. Damn, it does fit in the hall. That yeah. was bad. I didn't know if it would or not. All right, we'll get we'll get to you in a second, but first, so we got the Zeus CL and uh, the this? Zeus ES. The Zeus ES. Uh, Root and I actually just flew this for the first time. What yesterday? It was a very it was a surprise. I I, I was happily surprised. Yeah, same. Um, nice cargo. It's two ways in, which damn near blew our yeah. mind. Yeah, there's this lovely so, little ladder right up front, which, come on, fire! It's like, come on, we want this in the fucking MSR already. Yeah, can you see that? Boom. And it there. drops you right up here into uh, just shy of the cockpit. Let's see if we can do this twice. Enter ship. Ladder drops out. There we go. Cockpit's <laughs> right there. Got a little docking ring. It's got ample supply or ample room for uh, gear and weapons when the uh, these little suit lockers come in. We've got uh, three rifle racks here with uh, three pistol and three utility racks and a heavy weapon rack. And then surprisingly, in the back of the ship, there's another three. Yeah. It, uh, it's like we just. We we came in from the back and it was we just kept getting more surprised the farther along we got. Nice little living quarters here. I mean, yeah. admittedly, right now it's completely useless, but yep, it will serve a purpose, quote unquote, Star Citizen someday. Um, we got three. Oh, sat down. Uh, <laughs> we got three lockers here that are actually usable and shareable. They're they're the external storage in the vehicle, which is awesome. We tried them out last night. Four bunks. Yeah, or three bunks with a uh, looks like a, a rack for some some storage knick -knack storage. Yeah, yeah. You got your shower shitter sink combo over here. Yeah, little bathroom, little bench rest, which is okay. RPG fun, yeah. but and a little little storage area for cargo yeah. running. Uh, we did the intro to the cargo missions. We fit them both in here. It was it was clean. Yeah. Yeah, oh. then we had some other issues because that mission is broke. Yeah, and we got uh, trapped. <laughs> yeah, we we had to try again. But because we got trapped, is why we used this because we were originally using the Connie. Yeah. Um, you got your pilot seat, you got your gunner seat. It's a two size threes uh, on the bottom, and then you got your um, can't do anything really yet co-pilot seat. I think the co-pilot. Well, I mean, the co-pilot can do things like changing the map, changing power settings, or managing the. Uh, the MFD since they do apply across now, and I think the uh, co-pilot can also do missiles, but I'm not certain. I, we didn't try that out. Did not try that out. But see, I think um, what the co-pilot should be able to do is open up the uh, launch doors, call for a landing pad, set a route oh, for the God, pilot. The co-pilot yes, should be please. a navigator, and yeah. we should be able to do all that, and we we can't, and we should. Yeah. And the pilot has a parasite force. So, not horrible. decent guns. I mean, this is, if I remember right, it's not priced as a starter ship, but it's not a bad little starter ship. Yeah, it's it's kind of kind of like tier two starter, tier, like a Titan. Tier two, is. yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd probably say this Cuddy. Is tier three. Yeah, Cuddy. Yeah. Yeah. That's not opening up, so we're going to go and ahead. Then you got a, yeah, the docking collar doesn't seem to work, and you got an engineering station here with your components, so... Yeah, we were pleasantly surprised with the Zeus. Yeah, yeah, Very I didn't cool think ship. I was gonna like it. Um, I had, I have, or I have the MR version, which is not in game yet, uh, which is the interceptor version. But uh, I have the uh, ES as the loner. But yeah, we were really surprised. It was a pleasantly surprised too, which is a shocker these days. Yeah, so many price hikes, so many. Nerfs so many, all these bad things that CIG keeps throwing on our plate. 
this was a nice, happy slice of pumpkin pie at the end of that bullshit yeah. sandwich. Yeah. All right. Let's let's talk about the literal elephant in the room, the Valeris. <laughs> This this is our first real capital ship. And she's big. She's big. I wish and... we got footage of us using it uh, the other night with Rivet. Yeah. Um, Rivet's whole crew. This We had fun. We didn't get the job done. Uh, we ended up PvPing because somebody decided that we were a target. Uh, we won. We flew away. I ended up in prison, but it was a good <laughs> run. <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, hey, Raymond, if any of you are uh, watching this and you got footage for that, link it down below for everyone to see because that it was a, it was a fun fight. It was, it was a fun, a fight, long yeah. four hour fight, but it was fun. So one of those rare times do we have fun doing PvP. So this is what a nine hundred something dollar ship. No, okay, so th this this is annoying, even even for me. The I have a buyback token for. From last year, at seven hundred and fifty dollars for this ship. Now it has been increased to nine hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yeah. Anyone watching, do not buy this ship. Instead, buy a Perseus. The Perseus right now is six hundred and seventy-five bucks, and its loaner is a Polaris and a Harbinger. So you'll get you two get two ships. ships Two good ships for a lot less, and it uh, when you if if the Perseus ever comes out or yeah. the loaner changes, then use use the uh, CCU chain either yeah either melt it or CCU chain it, and then get the Polaris if you want it. But for now, don't just go buy the Perseus. Save uh. yourself a good chunk of money. Oh man, this it was he. Uh, yeah, Riven had an F eight in here. Yep. Um, it was snug, but it was here. Yeah, I, uh, I like this bird, even though I, I am naturally drawn against big ships because it's a pain in the ass. We only have two people. It's not yeah. like we could. It's not like we, we could we, fully crew We are this. not crewing this effectively. <laughs> no. At best, it's roots piloted, and I'm on the chin gun. Yeah. The, uh, it does have a med bay and a, a jail cell. Yeah, or, there's a break down there. Yeah, there's there's four. I don't know what size beds these are. I don't know if these are tier two or tier one beds. I think they're tier two. Uh, but still, that means you got four people spawning at once. Tier two. Oh, the, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, you got four people spawning at once. So, um... That saves some of the issues of things with single beds. I wasn't trying to sit down. I was trying to look at the terminal. Um, but uh, they actually worked. I mean, we I did die and came back oh, on, on board. Yeah. Acro across the hangar is the jail cells, which we don't know if there's a use for, but I imagine star system soon there will be. Yep. There's two jail cells in the brig. Um, as a former correction officer, I, let me tell you, these are comfy-looking prison cells. Oh, I've seen that's much a, worse. This little thing here is a pass-through. You can <laughs> put something <laughs> in there, and yeah. then it goes inside. That's cool. That's a that's a. Uh, we used to have those those feeding cells. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this, this is, is this is comfy compared to some of the, the right, cells I've up. seen. We're gonna, we're gonna test something here. Can you get out? Oh, there is no door in here. There oh! No buttons. Alright, so the jail cells do work. Yep. There's no way to even open the uh, the feeding bay. Well, well no, because uh, it opens when you close this side. So here, go, oh, ahead, go ahead and close or uh, just, let's, let's it. Let's not both yeah. go there yet. <laughs> yeah, just hit F on the storage, and then it opens over here. And then I can oh. I can toggle it to go backwards. <laughs> okay, so these do work. Yeah. Uh, all right. I don't see a lot of gameplay use for it yet, but Unless I know there are somebody. 
Yeah, well, I know there's a lot of RPers out there, and yeah. so they'll, they'll use it for that. it will probably get some good use in uh, pyro. <laughs> well, pyro, not necessarily pyro, but a lot of the uh, cinematic or cinematic folks, the people that are actually making oh, movies and, yeah, yeah. and other content in game. I can see that as good as a uh, as some good use. Oh, more turrets! Yeah, this thing's yeah. a big turret boat, man. Yeah. We just we do not have the frames. Those, those are the docking colors. Yeah, that's what I was looking for—a way out. Yeah. Let's drop down. Oh, we didn't even, we didn't even make it up to the bridge. bridge. Yeah. Well, I we're probably gonna do a uh, a review on this, so we'll save the full walkthrough to, for the review. But yeah, as he was saying, yeah. do not buy this boat. Uh, no. If you want this boat, uh, buy the the Perseus, and you'll get yep. this boat. Along with the yep. Harbinger, for less uh -huh. money. A lot less money. All right, around the corner. Oh, the, ah, uh, yes. Mantis and the Auroras. The very first ship from RSI that I knew about was the Aurora. The CL, the LN, the ES, um, LX. MR. MR, yeah. And LX. Yeah, the, I think the LX is the Legionnaire. Uh, it's... No, it's... Yeah, I think this is the Legionnaire. It's got missiles up on the top. Well, maybe not, because I remember it having a green skin. No, uh, this is the... Just seems to be the posh version. The LN, I think, is the Legionnaire, then. Yeah. Yep, here it is, the Legionnaire. Yeah, there you go, the missiles up top. This is the Aurora I had. Yeah. Paid a little extra from it. I bought a Mustang to start with, and then I upgraded this, and then I upgraded to a uh, a Lancer. Oh man! If you have an Aurora, it is, I mean, it is bare bones of starter ship. You got a seat, yep. you got a bed, uh, and that's what you get. <laughs> yeah. You could put a you, cargo box. You now have a car. Yeah, a cargo in the back. There's this. Oh, this one just doesn't have it right now. There's a little bin yeah. back here that lets you throw a little cargo box in. Uh, not a SCU size, just a little uh, mission size. Yeah. They're. I mean, they're basic starters, man. Yeah. I really think that the the fins should fold out like the X-wings, though. Absolutely, that would make these ships amazingly cool. Yeah. Uh, this this flies and looks like a brick, and yeah. um, I mean I, don't know. I love a this ship. Than a brick. I love this ship. I oh. I have a lot of memories with this ship, especially this one, the LN. I it's, flew all over. Yeah. The, all it's, over it's the not, beginning. <laughs> it's not a bad basic intro starter. It is not. I mean, it, it serves its purpose for or well. Yeah, the other ones over here. Or the CL, the CL, which is their cargo light, and the ES. Yeah, I think one of them is like bullshit. It's like, oh, it comes with leather seats. Like that fucking matters. Oh, that was the uh, LS, LS back there. Yeah, yeah. They're basically the same bird with slightly different loadouts. Is that a tractor beam up top? I think that's a tractor beam up top. That looks like it might be a tr no. There's one on each side. those? I don't know. I don't think we could turn it on to check the uh, Let's lights. Let's out, shall we? That's what I was thinking. They might just be lights. You're not going to be able to power it on, huh? Nope. Yeah, I think so. I think I might actually the, have one. The Pathfinder? I mean, we could rent one right here. Oh, true. Yeah, we just do that. Fine, but honestly, not necessarily that curious. <laughs> yeah. What it lacks makes up for, for upgrade modules. Yeah, that's not really true there, guys. Yeah. Yeah, this has the same. Yeah, they come stock with two size ones, but you could put four size ones total. So yeah. it's not a bad little ship. And when you're coming on face to face, it's kind of hard to hit. So it's not a bad starter ship, man. Yeah. 
Um, I don't have one of these. To me, this is a PvP thing. The Mantis stops quantum drives. Uh, this this is what it is. This is what I killed during the PvP. What got me a uh, got me a a crime Crime stat of three. Yeah, somebody popped in, and uh, I popped him, and he was gone. <laughs> this is not a very sturdy ship. My route. Yeah, not a very big ship either. It's it's solo. I mean, you can put someone in the seat and someone in the bed if you want, but there, there's there's not much to it. Yeah, it, you, it's a it's a one trick pony. It's a quantum adapter. You just they yeah. can, people can't run from you. Hooray! Yeah, uh, you better hope you got friends because if they can't run from you, that means they're gonna blow you up. And they can blow you up. Yeah. Pretty easy. Again, PvP ship. Not our bag. So, not our thing. Yeah. I had one just to have it, but it got melted so I could afford the new hotness. New hotness. <laughs> All right, there are... <laughs> I say there are other ships that do the quantum interdiction too, so... This isn't the only one. Alrighty. Scorpius, the and Terrace, Connie. and the Connies. Alright, I have nothing bad to say about the Scorpius. Um, this is still our go-to two-man fighter now that the, uh, the Redeemer is uh, more. Okay, as a pilot, I have a couple of bad things to say about it. If you lose one of the X-Wings, flight becomes a little problematic. And since the guns are at the end of the X-Wings, if you lose one, you lose a gun. Yeah, uh, that sucks, but that's not a gutter problem. But uh, that's <laughs> actually all I really have to, no, uh, one more to thing. say about it. One more thing. Two people cannot get in this damn bird at the same oh, time. That, that's not this bird. That's every ship. Yeah, but that's that's uh, a that's a CIG problem. Yeah, uh, that's a CIG problem. If Root gets if you... in, I have to wait for the cockpit to close and the ramp to go back up, the ladder to go back up. Then oh. and only then can I get into the gunner seat. And the same with leaving. If he's jumping right. out of the boat. Here we go. <laughs> so while I'm doing this, and I have the ladder down. Yep. Come on. get Go in there. Really? Okay. Oh, this is just broke. Enter pilot seat. And, okay. So while I'm getting in, he can't until it buttons itself up. It didn't even show the animation. It just shows you walking up on air, dude. Yeah. You're walking on sunshine. I'm assuming it's close. There it goes. Yeah. Uh, now he's in, so now it's opening up for me. And I can't get out while this is open. Well, this will close. And then it's the same operation in reverse. So right now I'm holding Y to, to get myself out. Me too. And uh, it looks like Root's going to win. Yep. <laughs> so Root won. So there he goes. I'm, I'm holding Y still. Tapping Y frantically now. I want out. I want out. Ship's on fire. I want out. Door closes. Ramp. The ladder's going to close up. I'm still and stuck. It now it pops open. It's all back up. So you and can now get out. I get to get out. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. That's that's the biggest problem I have. Because if you ever have to leave or get in in a hurry, they're, they're, it's not happening. You either if make time or you don't. If I remember right, the only ship that doesn't have this problem is the Hurricane. Oh yeah, because the Hurricane you load the in from the bottom. Yeah. yeah, we'll get to that on Anvil Day. Yep. But the firepower and shielding on the Scorpion is better, or is as good or better. So. Yeah. You got four size fours for the pilot, four size four for the gunner, or four size uh, three four for size the three. pilot, four size three for the gunner. I apologize. Still a hefty amount of firepower. Also, it's an X-Wing. Who doesn't like an X-Wing? Yeah. Um, over here, you have the, uh, the Terrace. It's a little kind of special younger brother. Uh, it's the EMP and interdiction model. So it does the quantum snaring like the uh, Mantis does, with the exception that 
it cannot drag so well last i remember it can't drag someone out of quantum but it will keep them from going into quantum the mantis will drag people out of quantum now the only thing that i hate about this is that if you're a gunner you've got nothing to do you're sitting with one ffd and you turn on the the uh emp that's it and, and or the quantum snare yeah that's it uh, yeah. so you, you lose have... half your firepower for a quantum snare yeah the gunner is reduced to a two button operation button pusher yeah all right moving right along we have the connies now the connies in my world have been up and down um they have gotten buffs they've gotten nerfs they've gotten buffs again right now i think they're in a pretty good spot um yeah. The, the top turrets for the Andromeda used to be twos. They're now threes. I believe you got four size fives. Yes. Four size fives for the gunner. Yep. Um, that was. No, uh, four, four size, size fours. fours. They're rhino. rhino. Uh, hold on. Go into Urkel. Uh, wait, this, which one is this? Oh, this is the Aquila. This is the. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't, don't buy the Aquila. If you're going to buy any of them, you're going to want the Andromeda. Um, or. The Taurus, if you're just going to focus on cargo hauling. Cargo. Yeah, but four size fives for the pilot. Four size five for the pilot. So there was a time when it was four size fives, and there was a time where it was two size twos, two, or two size fours, two size fives. And now it's four size fives with two size threes up top. Uh, the Andromeda is my favorite Connie. We got a nice big cargo bed. I think it's, was it 52 SCU or something like that? Uh, it is 96 SCU 96 cargo. 96 SCU, I stand corrected. Because the, these will missiles. stack three high, these will stack three high, six wide, and I think it's like eight deep. And you could easily fit a Nursa in here. Yeah. This is what the Nursa was for. And then you have your little, <laughs> your little, uh, parasite ship in the back. Which looks like it's seen better days down here. Look at the wear and tear on that bird. Oh, is it all beat up? It is for me. It looks like it's rusted. Oh, a yeah. Bit. It's all rusted and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we still don't know. There was a, a period where it worked uh, when docking was first introduced. This was the first thing they could dock and undock. Uh, you could detach, fly away, come back, and lock back in. Then they broke it. <laughs> then uh, they broke it even more in that if you got in the the Merlin, you couldn't get out. Um, yeah, that was your life. And, yeah, that was your life until the ship was uh, stored. And uh, that was the point where we quit trying. So uh, we haven't tested it out yet. <laughs> well, we should. <laughs> Especially if we plan. Right? probably going to plan on, uh, on using this ship a bit more. We've been sadly, looking... sadly, this seems to be the replacement for our Redeemer now. Yeah, like I was joking yesterday, uh, due to the recent nerfs, the, uh, the part of the Redeemer will be played by the Constellation Andromeda. But yeah, this is... Uh... If you haven't been in yeah. Akani, RSI loves their struts. Absolutely. Yeah. Random struts interface. I mean, this is all over the place you have to deal with it that's the rsi i don't know why if you just got rid of them it'd be such a beautiful open oh, yeah. view but nope nope gotta have these big metal struts in the way but to be fair, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> uh since the in the uh past like what is it uh 900 years that uh we, we've proceeded and we've lost what a sun visor is. Yeah. Uh, the struts do work as a sun impromptu sun visor. If you can get the angle right. Yeah. If you can get the angle right. Yeah, so. Good the, luck with that, though. <laughs> the Andromeda has two turrets, top and bottom. Um, nice little open. Uh, I don't I don't think these are actual storage. I think those are play storage. Yeah, they're play right now. Um, the table works again yep. for the first time since, I think, 3.18. Something like that. Uh, you got four beds. Massive open canopy out here. Two docking collars on the side. And then this leads you to your parasite ship. Which you pop that open. You drop in. You hold November to detach. And then you're a little leaf on the wind. 
Uh, just don't let anybody run you through the wash. Yeah. Well, you gotta clean your spear somehow. You gotta clean your spear somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, family, we're gonna. I think we're heading out to the hollow deck now, huh? All you Firefly uh, fans out there, we we apologize that you're welcome at the same time. <laughs> yeah, and uh, also just a note here up on the uh, up in the main cabin area, there is the engineering terminal as well. When that oh yeah, when that gameplay finally, finally makes it out. Um, the other variant is the I don't even like calling Phoenix. this a variant. The Phoenix. This is a posh, oh yes, I'm going to take people across, be a people mover, a luxury taxi, if you will. I don't see this really ever getting into the game. It's They're, been, they it's do been, mention... They mention it or, a lot. They say a yeah, lot of things. Yeah, they've said that there's going to be, quote-unquote, like taxi service missions where you're taking luxury people along and... You don't get as good a payment if you don't have a luxury vehicle, and this is supposed to be one of those vehicles like the 890 Jump kind of is, or uh, like the 890 Jump is. Uh, but uh, as we've said before, CIG says a lot of things. Yeah, so you sacrifice um, basically utility for, uh, right now, an RP Hangout. There's really nothing else. Yeah. Nothing else to yeah. do with that. What what you what you will notice if you watch like Inside Star Citizen or any of the CIG produced content, yes. this bar should look familiar. Yep. Because uh, Jared the, Huckabee sits there and yeah, everybody's uh, happy. Yeah, the set of that show is designed to look like this little area on the Phoenix. I don't know if the fridge works. I mean, it doesn't work here on the fair room floor. It'd be nice if you have free access to food and water, but no telling. Yeah. Or booze, I would. Yeah. From, from I what I heard, these are magnetized or behind glass because one roll and you lose a lot of money. <laughs> from what I heard, the uh, hot tub works again. Or they uh, take it out. Oh. Yeah, I'll believe that nope. when I see it now. Yes. Oh shit. All right. Well, I yep. fell down to the cargo. That's cool. Okay. Woo. Drop it down for the void. Sweet. And I'm out of the bird. All right, fam. So here we have two meh and one amazing uh, little cars. So the original Ursa is, is fine. It's a people mover. Um, if you're going to land and go to, like, say, a hostile bunker and they're going to shoot at ships, uh, you could drive right up to the front door with this. Yep. This is cool. However, if you're going to do that, you might as well be in the Nursa. We love yeah. the Nursa. Anything with a medical bed is top tier for us. This lets you spawn. This lets you heal. It is ideal and necessary for bunker missions. You'll get flanked. You'll get shot. You'll get rooted. Um, that's when <laughs> Root shoots the wall <laughs> with a grenade launcher and hey, you both go flying. Not just me. You do it too. <laughs> that's why I don't use the damn grenade launcher. But... <laughs> Yeah, a lot of things can happen, and this will get you out of it. And if yep. you're running something like a Connie or a Corsair that lets you put a uh, a rover in it, you you just you brought yourself a med bed. It is amazing. Yep. And then you have this useless. Um, I was gonna say piece of trash, but it's the same thing. It's just the quote unquote. Once again, it's luxury. the luxury version. Um, it's posh. It's pretty. Uh, you lose the back door for it. You got some waters here. Can I take that? I don't mind if I do. Okay. Hey, there's some water back here, dude. Go grab yourself oh, one. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to get in it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta jump. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Yeah, Come but on. out of these three, the Nursa is by far the best. It is... It'll do everything the other ones would do, and then more. It is so good, I have three of them. Yeah, he has three of them. We And we've used them at the same time. He's at, well. he's he's left one in my Corsair, just in case bad stuff happens to his Corsair. Yep. And then I leave one in the hangar, so we have a spawn point back there. Yep. Which we found out, don't use yeah, that. Don't, it don't do that. Awesome. Yeah. Because it's trying uh, to spawn that, you in a place that doesn't exist until you're close enough, and uh, 
then you're then you're stuck. It, DL, yeah, it doesn't end it. well. All right. The hall now of never, the hall will that never will be. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the halls. Ah, uh, look at you. Another big carrot on the stick. The Perseus. Perseus has been this. here for a while, but this is the ship you want to own if you uh, want a Polaris. You want a Polaris. Because it's a couple hundred dollars cheaper, and you get a Polaris and a Harbinger, as we said in the beginning of the video. Yeah. I'm guessing this is going to be our other capital ship, the Idris. Oh, no, this is the RSI Galaxy. Did yeah. you just melt this? I just melted this. The, uh, I had this only because its loner was a Carrick, and we wanted the Carrick for the medical bed. Um, but until 4.0, the Carrick is broken in so many ways. Yeah. So uh, we got no use for it anyway. We were just using it for a medical bed anyway. And as we yeah. talked about, we've got better options for medical beds. Yep. The Arasta. I don't even... Oh, is this the mining? Yeah, this is the RSI uh, never going to happen mining ship. Yeah. So that's cool. Mining and manufacturing and uh, all that crap. I think this is going to be like... It, I think it has large drones, I think, for... It's going to be like the Orion, crafting. right? Yeah. I can't recall. I remember there's one ship that they were saying like, oh, it, it has large large drones for crafting yeah it's it's not gonna exist uh anytime soon if at all so i'm not really worried about it yeah and this is the apollo oh god the apollo uh th this is what i want i've been waiting for this and, and it never will be and it's still proudly displayed in the halls it never will be this is a dedicated medical runner. It t kind of takes the place of the uh, Pisces Red or the Connie Red. Um, cutter. It's supposed to have... Cutter Red. Or, uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, Cutter Red. Yeah. The, uh, Cutlass Red. Cutlass Red. They, okay. uh, yeah, they, uh, it's supposed to have modular med beds. So you could have like a Tier 1, a couple of Tier 2s, and a bunch of Tier 3 med beds inside. It's your, your uh, impromptu floating hospital. Uh, yeah. hospital. Uh, but it has uh, guns and missiles, so it's uh, it's a uh, evac for uh, dangerous uh, medical situations. But sadly, it is uh, it's, it's been still a carrot on a stick for quite yeah. some time now, and it is proudly displayed in the halls that never will be. Yeah, there is a uh, Apollo medevac variant that there's a uh, mini game on the website that you got to play, and once you beat that little mini game, you get access to buy the medevac, uh, yep. or it's the other way around. I can't remember which, but uh, either way, they're both carrots on stick that we'll probably never be here anytime soon. All right, family. Oh, I still got the water bottle in my head. All right, that's uh, it for RSA. <laughs> <laughs> right, hold on, let me see if I just do this. Yep, that's how I got rid of it. <laughs> there we go. All right, fam, so in the comments, let us know if you bought anything. Uh, please, if you're going to want that uh, the big bird, you're going to want to use Rich Little Trick. If you want the Polaris, um, don't buy it straight out. No. All right, fam. Well, if the Valkyries don't take us tonight, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, not sure what's happening tomorrow. Do you know what day it is tomorrow? Uh, I think tomorrow is, oh, Anvil? I, I think Anvil's last, right? Yeah, Anvil's last. Oh, wait, so uh, it wouldn't be tomorrow. Uh, hold on a moment. Event schedule. <sighs> tomorrow is Argo, Consolidated Outlands, Grey Cat Industrial, and Kruger, uh, Kruger and Galax. So it's all the industrial stuff. All the small stuff, yep. All right, we'll see you yeah. tomorrow for... All of those mining and and holly chips. Yeah. And then the Mustangs as well. So. Yeah. All right, family. <laughs> well, if the Valkyries don't take us tonight, we'll see you tomorrow in the next episode. You guys drink one for us. We'll drink one for you. Take it easy, family. <laughs>